Hello everyone and welcome back to more for the 2023 Imperium Cup for Dune Imperium with the Rise of X and Immortality expansions. I'm your host and commentator, The Black Shadow. Uh, I've been sick the past several days, truthfully, so I haven't been able to cover much from the competition. But we are coming back for what should be a pretty, pretty fun game here. And that is the opening salvo for Group I, which as far as I'm concerned, this is this tournament's Group of Death. Uh, this is a collection of some of Europe's best players, uh, period. Um, and uh, this is their first game, uh, you'll notice from the group, uh, this is due to the fact that no less than three players in this group were at the North Carolina uh, Uprising Invitational event, uh, which I was at amongst uh, several others as well. So they're a bit late getting the games on, uh, but they got a game today, game tomorrow, so they are getting right back into the race of things. Uh, and top of the table, as you can see, um, is no doubt going to be the target, I think, for several players on amongst this group stage, and that is Sneaker Dead, uh, possibly one of the best players going on TTS Club currently, uh, who finished second place at the Uprising Invitational as well, uh, was a runner-up playoff um, participant in the Golden Bath Internationals, narrowly getting a second place in the semis, um, and felt he probably should have had a crack at the finals, and we'll be wanting to go one step further in this competition. But it's not just Sneaker Dead in this group by any stretch of imagination. Uh, Blackstone and Lunatic uh, were both also at the North Carolina event. Lunatic made the semi-finals, and we've also got several noted regulars in the rank system as well. Evo, Vaseline, uh, Amazing VP, Nikon, Habu, uh, this guy again, Mysterium as well. Um, and it's going to make this a really, really tough group. There are no easy games in this whatsoever. It should make for some great action. As far as today's game is concerned, uh, it's featuring Sneaker Dead uh, facing off against Eva Gomez, Amazing VP, and Haboot. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how things progress for Sneaker in this, because now he's had uh, you know a lot of decent results, although he's yet to quite um, quite make the distance and actually get a competition win. It's the one thing kind of evading Sneaker Dead at the moment um, is the fact that he's got sort of a bit of um, name um, familiarity, I guess we'll call it. Uh, I have noticed from time to time, I can speak for myself, a couple of the people that I've spoken to as well, that sometimes when you've got that, sometimes you aren't able to get away with stuff that you might be able to otherwise. People are a lot more aware of your actions, might feel a bit more um, inclined to stop you from doing stuff because there's a perception that you're going to just run away at the game. Um, and so sometimes people can make you know like uh, decisions that affect you a lot more than perhaps they should really be doing. Um, and we're just going to see if Sneaker Dead encounters some of that in this competition as well. Um, I mean, it should be interesting with this group anyway. It's obviously a lot of good players. I don't necessarily think uh, there's going to be a ton of that. But as the competition goes on, especially if Sneaker, you know, will be wanting to make a top two finish in this group. No doubt about that. Um, but he's going to find it pretty difficult. And if he finds himself um, not getting through uh, to the knockouts in such a good fashion, uh, he's the more rounds he's got to go through, the more chance there are for crazy things to happen. So uh, regardless, that's a problem for the future. Uh, it may not even happen. Uh, we'll have a sit and watch this game and uh, should have a good time. All right, then, so I guess I was ready for the match here. Uh, Haboot is in first seat, which means it'll be a VP to select first here. Remember, of course, the selection method is 4-3-1-2, uh, not the 4 3 2, one has been changed slightly. So let's go look at the opening row here then. Um, and I'd say it's pretty decent, actually. Um, interesting couple of, uh, Talaxu cards in that both of them require genetic markers to make use out of. Our natural reflexes, uh, obviously very strong for just general card draw. Subject really good for obviously racing the Talaxu tracks, but both require some work on the Talaxu track first that get of any use. Interesting to see people decide to die for those early. Uh, wanting to get hold of them before anyone else does or not. Uh, the Imperium Row is a bit all over the place. I wouldn't say it's that impressive. Uh, solid card Legion. Benny's Sisters, not as always a solid card. High priority is good for if you're chasing uh, shipping early. Full scale is too expensive right now and ambush is okay. I wouldn't be surprised to see people get four or five and smash their own and try and pick up something else. Wouldn't be a shock. Uh, as for our techs here, very cheap stuff here. Artillery, very strong. I can see Sneaker wanting that a lot. Uh, Hollow Projectors is obviously pretty solid. Space Wheel might sit there for a while, however, we shall see. Uh, as for our leaders, uh, well, we're missing a few noble ones. No Eolbar, no Baron, no uh, no Tezia. Uh, Beast is definitely going to be picked here. It's going to be pretty strong. I suppose you'll probably see Beast, Hundro, Lido, and I'm guessing Yuna. But you might see Paul get picked in the second or something. We'll see. Uh, but uh, regardless, it should be good. 
So, uh, VP does open up with Beast in the fourth position, which is not a huge surprise. Evo Gomez to pick up next. Um, it's always interesting with third position in a kind of a, a leader section like this. Like, Hundro is a bit speculative in third, but Hundro is noted to be very strong in first position. So there might be already a degree of picking it to kind of um, not let that go further down the line. Uh, Paul Trades isn't the worst here, though. Paul Trades is like a natural, could be really good. Um, I would say Hollow Projectors also looks good. Maybe even Paul going in third position and going immediate artillery. I don't hate, but is taking Hundro instead. As suggest, as as was figured. Uh, now it's a boot in first position. Uh, wants to take Lido. Is obviously scared of Ilbarn being in fourth position, though. That is a problem uh, that you have to kind of hope isn't the case sometimes. It's not that likely Ilbarn's going to be in fourth position. But if Ilbarn's been selected, he's going to be almost certainly in fourth. So... That's kind of the problem you've got here. It's a bit of a gamble. Um, Yuna in first is also okay, but it's a, it has its own issues. Um, so we'll see how much he's worried of Ilbarn being on his right here. Because if Ilbarn is on his right and he picks that Leo, it's a disaster. So he's going to gamble that that's not the case here. And then Sneaker, I think we'll go Yuna. Might go Paul, but I think we'll go Yuna and it does indeed. Okay then, so... Hundro gets his opening uh, two Intrigues. Uh, he has choices of Mustat, Titian, or Harvest Cells. Hmm. I don't know which one I'd rather take. I think I'd rather take Tactician. I think so. Uh, I'm going to put this down here this time. Uh, it was suggested. Uh, I looked in some of these. I was like, oh, maybe getting this down so you can see the leaders up top might be a nice thing to be able to do. So go ahead and do that. So interesting choice for 100 to consider. Uh, we're going to look at people's opening hands here. Everyone's drawn pretty decent. Uh, Lido has got... Ooh, Lido's drawn funky. He's got both daggers. He's got a Diplo. But he's got his ring and no experimentation. So maybe this Welty decides not to go smuggling, which would be bad news for Yuna because Yuna's got all of her mining cards out now. So this could get interesting early. Uh, Beast has got both his Diplos and both his daggers, but no ring. I'm definitely having a thing about it. It's kind of an interesting one. Um, Harvest Cells is obviously... It's a nice card just to get those things. If it was something, like, really desirable on the opening row, like, say, maybe, um, like, a Gola or a Stitch or something, I think I would probably take Harvest Cells. I don't think what's up there is good enough to justify going uh, for Harvest Cells here. So I think I'd rather take Tactician. Nevo does agree here. So here we go then. And the opening conflict is the Solari influence skirmish. One of the most desirable, probably the most desirable uh, skirmish in the opening game here. Um, it is very, very highly contested this. So everyone's, we've got a couple of people with a load of daggers. So here we go then. Her boot is up first. There are timers on the sides. There are no time limits in these games, however. None whatsoever. So, interesting choice here. He could go fold space, but he might just go um, smuggling here to block Yuna. And Yuna's not going to like this, because Yuna's got all of her mining cards immediately. So this is already a little bit tricky for her. I think we'll see a steel soup early. Or just go straight wealth and just going to jam for some cash. Look to get a position out of the combat. Go wealth again, Swordmaster. Looks like it's going to be the plan there for Sneaker. Hundro's gonna have. Uh, Hundro's gonna kind of think what we want to do here. Does he go Hardy Warriors immediately? Nope, just goes Fold Space. Beast will go Steel Suits and put a troop in, I would imagine. He might put both in here. Um, if he puts both in, he's gonna be looking to try and get to like Secrets or something, you would imagine. Basically, he's saying, do you want to dance here at Hardy Warriors? And Lino's gonna consider it. Lino's got both his daggers. Lino might but might go for this. It's kind of a tricky one here, though. Both daggers feels really bad to leave it. You could go Mentat, I guess, but what are you really looking for? You know, you've, you've had your ring. You're not going to experiment anywhere. I don't think Mentat does anything for you here. I really don't see what it helps, but he's going to do it anyways. Hmm... Yeah, and now you pull your Seek Allies card. Yeah, that's not what he wanted to see. I think that was a mistake there. 
So, Yuna's going to get the Harvest Cells. All three are going in, obviously. Again, plan is Wealth Swordmaster next round. Just rely on action economy. That's going to be the plan here. Hunter's got his ring. He will be certainly visiting a mining spot here. I think I'd go Imperial Basin. In case Beast has got only um, access to mining. And you want to not let him get to Basin and Great Flat. So, two go in with his Tactician and his Sword. They're all worlds Yuna might not get anything out of this, by the way. Beast has got a tricky spot here. If he wants to win it, he's almost got to go Hardy Warriors here. He does not want to go Hagger Basin. He could go Great Flat. But I think we're going to see Hardy Warriors. And do we do see it. So, um, how much does he pile in? He's got both daggers. But there's intrigues about... He's got to probably put in, like, four, I would imagine. So it does do so. Leto now has, again, he's still got both daggers here. He's only got one dagger now, so I, um, he's got an option of either secrets. Could go Arakeen if he wanted, but now he's got both his Diplo cards. Surely you've got to use one of them. Um, and, you know, I'm curious to see what he does here. I might be tempted to actually use Diplo here and save Seek Allies because you've got so little persuasion now. Yeah, I just didn't like the wealth mo the, the Mentat move. I just think, like, if you know... It's a good conflict for you. Chance to go Hardy Warriors there and just pile it in. You've kind of let that slip here, so. He's going to grab artillery, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a... Mm, not a happy opening round for her boot. It's not what he wanted, really. So, Yuna's going to rip it at four, as suggested was going to happen. Try and gamble. There's a couple of okay stuff. Organ Merchants. Voices, they're obviously pretty tempting. A lot of stuff out of his price range, however. Grabs Conspiracy. You'll need to find some cards to kind of graph that with. Hundro with four and the dagger. He won't use Tactician, I don't suspect, here. Organ Merchants being considered... As a way to try and uh, jump the Swordmaster queue a little bit here. Because it's going to be going pretty quick. He rips it as well. Not even an interesting voice. Very sad. We were just gambling away here. Esmar's up next. Fopta. Both Foptas are up there. Jamis. I'll actually we'll just grab a Smuggler's Fopta and call it a day. Because he's going to think, well, he's going to get to shipping uh, pretty soon here. Goes for Jamis instead for the faction access, which I don't hate. Spice smugglers. Look at all these spacing cards up here. My god. Absolute dream for it to spell a conspiracy, as it turns out. Eyeing up spice smugglers. I don't really like it for him. Beast with his couple of swords and nothing. And then leader's gonna reveal for free. And uh he's gonna have to rip the row himself if he wants if he wants anything from this. Yeah, I think this has not been a not been an amazing start of a boot, but it is what it is. Artillery will help, but he's gonna need to he's gonna need to rely on like this next combat being like machinations or something. He's gonna need some help in this next conflict or two. So he's gonna rip it as well. Everyone just ripping it immediately, gambling away, and it's not what he wanted to see. Oh, he has four. No, he has three. Space travel for Dakin. Go Ambassador is too much. I don't know. I think it was a bit of a... Oh, I'm, I'm in, I've already had a bit of an iffy start here and trying to get himself out of trouble early. For Dakin is all space travel, the two cards he's got, and that's it. So, kind of gambling. Not really found great here. Pretty much. So, combat will be played. Nothing will happen. Evo will not play Tactician here. So, Unit will get Swordmaster. Now, do they grab immediately anything with Harvest Cells? Or do they just grab the Beetle? I think they just grab the Beetle here. I, li I like this move. I think getting this is a little too early. So, Swordmaster coming for Yuna. Hundro will begin shipping. Next conflict is Raid Stockpiles, which, I mean, it's not the worst for Lido, I guess. 
Um, Beast, of course, now has his ring. I don't know what's going on with these tags here. Lilo, fortunately, has found Diplo again. A little bit fortunate there. So, curious to see where Lido's going to go here. Lido might go still suits here with intentions of hitting great flat. I think we might well see that. I think I like that as a move because uh, no one else can get there. Beast, ooh. I actually wouldn't have hated Beast going, um, going like Siege to get to great flat. He's obviously blocking um, the smuggling for Lido, but it's kind of a weird one where like he could have cashed it, but... Can't actually get his Swordmaster, so... Bit of a strange one. But offers just to block it. I mean, that's the move for me, for Lino. I think it still suits, uh, and then Great Flat. I think that's how I would proceed here. Still suits, get two troops in. Uh, great flat uh, is going to give you four spice. You're going to get probably two more a lot of the time. So you're threatening highliners. You're threatening conspiring. Um, you're threatening all sorts of good stuff. It also gives you um, spice for your ring later. Yeah, still suits for me. Still suits for me, definitely. Seems the uh, the correct way to proceed. So, Swordmaster for Yuna. Hundra will ship. Um, Beast, I assume, is going to go Carfag with his ring and kind of see what he finds. I don't know how much Beast wants a piece of this conflict. I think he might just put in, like, the one troop. Just to pick up a spice here. We'll see. Yuna goes Mentating first. So, um, that was a bit of a gamble, that. Uh, Beast goes for Seeching here. Mm, I think he's a little, a little too late now is, the, is my only issue. I think I was going to do it, I would have already done this. So, now Lido is forced to go Great Flat here. There's, there's no... There's nothing else you can do. I mean, is it really worth going Hagger Basin? I don't think so. I think you're forced into Great Flat here. I guess not. I guess not. Pyramid Ceremony taken for Lido. Wow. That was, uh surprising i don't think um yellow has taken their research for um for their initial play of experimentation so they're telling him that he's gonna obviously do that so beast is gonna reveal for five can you see what beast is gonna do beast the only person with atomics are left does he take like Guild Ambassador out of denial. It's also just not a. It's not the worst card in the world. Just using that for like spice or getting your bumps elsewhere is, uh, you know, it's pretty useful. I'd also argue as well. There's no other great cards out there as well. So you might be able to take this and kind of limit Green's buying potential. Hundro goes for subject. It's the first one to die for, for those sort of cards there. A, a contamination put, picks up which is 100% being taken by Beast. That's pretty automatic. Do you go Guild Ambassador or is he going to gamble? So here we go. All four gamble. All four automatics used immediately. And, uh, well, here's the Roix Guild. Sayadina looks great for him here. Long Reach. Placement Eyes is a solid card. It's an Engineer as well. Wow. Sayadina comes out and there's Talaxu Surgeon, which is going to Yuna. That's pretty ridiculous. So, uh, yep. Uh, Yuna will be very happy with how this has gone out. So, Carfag. Looks good to me. Finds to the victor. Cannot win the conflict. But we'll hold that for later on. So, we'll just put in the one. It's a spice. It'll have to do. Considering putting them both in. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, I say Green's looking at the discard, like, he's just fully revealed here. Considering putting it in just to hit, um, just to hinder red a little bit, but never really need to do so. That surgeon seems pretty straightforward. So, Lido will win the conflict here. Lido is just thinking, well, I'll just take whatever mining's left, but Hundro might go Hagger Basin or something, so this could backfire for Haboot here. So, Haboot takes the win. Spice each for blue and green. Let's see what intrigue Haboot comes out with this. Finds himself. A private army. That'll be good for later on in the game. We'll move on. So Hundro up next. Let's just see what Hundro does here. If he finds Diplo, does he just go fold space? Just to cement the alliance? Well, he's found both fold spaces. Uh, he's pulled subject immediately, which is not doing anything for him currently. That's a bit of an issue. Trade Monopoly is next. Beast has found Sidena and Contaminator. No, he's just going to go smuggling here to do it this way. I guess that also works. I think, does Beast go Contaminator with, um, and Steel Suits? And then you can just side Dina to, like, selective breeding or something? I don't know. His hands are too good. He's drawn everything immediately here. Very strong hand. He's got his ring, Diplo. He's got everything immediately, which means the next hand's going to be pretty brutal. Lido's found space, travel, and seek allies, and his ring. Yeah, seems the right uh, opening move here. Just stack up on water. It's a water conflict as well here, so I'd be putting them both in immediately. Uh, so Yuna's found Surgeon straight away as well, which is pretty good. Ring is not able, enabled. Um, lots of stuff going on here. Does Duke Lido go Hagger Basin and then threaten Highliner? He could do it with his ring. I think that's actually a good move here. I would mine with the ring and then Highline with space travel. And that gets you to shipping next round. And no one's going to be able to stop you from doing this because voice was never taken. You've got both daggers as well. It's a good conflict for you as well. Trade Monopoly is something you're going to want to target here. I think that's the way I would look to proceed. I would not be taking any risks. Depends if he wants to spend one water or two. I think I'd just spend the one. Yeah, Hagger Basin looks good to me. So chase with the spacing. And then look to high line. I guess if you're going to do this, like, you could justify maybe going, uh, just whole great flat. Because you're going to get the water back. Depends how you see it. Yuna's got a free actions. Yuna might decide to base in first here. Um, because there's nowhere else for her to go. And that's, I think, what we're going to see here. He's going to go ahead and use Interstellar, um, to get the extra spice. Which I don't hate. Is Yuna going conspiring? I think we might see Yuna going conspiring here. Swordmaster for Hundro. So Beast is an interesting decision. He's going to just keep Sidena for now. Going to Mentat and get a troop here. I think this is just a uh, holding sort of move here. Just trying to get use out of his um, his cards because his deck is so good. I, it's Highline for me. I think for me it's Highline. It's, it's got to be Highline. You get, you get the access. Oh, he's going to do it with Seacal... Whoa! Wow! Goes wealth! That's a surprising move. That is a very surprising move. Conspire is found for Yuna. Finds Guild Authorization, which is pretty good. Bindi Suspension is also pretty decent for her. Wow! Why does Saboot not go Highline there? Is he going to just try and win this with Private Army? It looks like that's what he's going to do here. Maybe he's thinking next round... I'm not entirely sure. I, that's my guess, is he's going to he's gonna not go spacing because it's going to provoke a response from Beast. Look like he's going to concede and then double-dagger Private Army. 
Or maybe not even private army. Oh, the, um, yeah, the top bit. <clears throat> bit of confusion there. Apparently, yeah, so Lido has got plus four swords, because he's got artillery here, so... I guess he's just going to think he's going to do it this way in kind of an ambush beast. Hondro might as well just go, like, uh, he's obviously going to go shipping here. No surprises here. So what's Beast going to do with his move? Does Beast just go, like, secret or something? You feel like you want to cash inside either. The problem is, like, there's all that water at Great Flat. But it's kind of weird, like, do you think you're actually going to win this conflict? Like, Lido kind of weirdly didn't get involved. So this is kind of suspicious. Like, him going to wealth was a really strange move. I think he will go secrets. Does. Points a point. Which way will be good for later on. No good right now. That was a very strange move there from 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 Lido, so so I guess this quote unquote springs the trap. Lido's gonna reveal for four swords. And then Yuna's gonna have to decide, does she wanna get involved here? She has the money. She might go Carfag and peel this in. She's got to the victor. Interesting to see what happens. Bindu's going to be played here. Might as well see what everyone else reveals for. So I think uh, Carfag is coming here. Pre persuasion for Hundro. Eyeing up uh, each skill. Some good cards here, but they're all too expensive. Kibble does power very good. Um, just goes for liaison. Beast reveal for four. Again, the thing is, everyone's all used their atomics, though. Some of them a little bit spuriously, so. Unfortunately, some people are kind of struggling to buy stuff here. There's good cards on the row. They just can't quite get there and afford it. Beast definitely eyeing up each skill. It's a good card for him. So, is Yuna going to pull the trigger at Carfag? I think she will. And does indeed decide to do so. And figures that she can get a bump here. Um, figures she figures she can also get shipping. If she cashes in with sh uh, the shipping, obviously she wins the... The cash is in with the, the ring for a bump at spacing. And she's got the other one. So if she can deny Red winning the conflict, she can also start hitting shipping herself and slow down Red because Red didn't cement it. I'm not noticing any issues. Oh, tiebreaker found. It's not going to be enough, though. It's not going to be enough here. So here we go. It's all going to go in, hoping to get to the victor, but Private Army is going to get the job done. I don't see how Sneaker doesn't put it all in here. Yep. Oh, it's figuring free is going to be enough. Going to rely on Tiebreaker to get the job done. I would love to see her boot somehow pass if the fourth didn't go in and make him use it and then bust out private army. But uh, that's not going to be the case here. So they're going to go in. Private army is going to do the job. It is too much for Yuna to catch up. And she's going to have to, uh, you know, Leno take, took a big risk there. Not just going highline and calling it a day. But, uh, well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get there. You know, with the first flaxy point very early. Beast will pass, and Lido will take it down just about. And Sneaker will be like, damn. Can't even tie it. So, yep, there's, the, there's a, a sad pass. So, 
Rules be taken. Lido will take it down. Yuna will have to settle for second place. Uh, Beast takes the water for great flat access, of course. We'll definitely cash this in. We'll take the spacing bump. Uh, does Habu take money? Does take money. It's him and Blue still to get their sword masters. We're going to move on. Poison Sleeper found for Yuna. So she's in no danger of being secret stolen just yet. I don't know. I say that. I mean, if Beast finds uh, access, he might decide to do so. We'll see. We'll move on. Round four. Cloak and Dagger is up next. Uh, I think this could be of interest to quite a few people here. No, Beast is just going to... Oh, Beast is drawn pretty bad, actually. Oh, what's he... Oh, my gosh. This is risky. Okay, so he's going to do this to get hold of his Swordmaster. He is risking Great Flat, though. He has no access to it. Finds Breakthrough. Should be good for it. Lido... Lido is forced to go um, Swordmaster as a result. So he gives up on shipping. So a little fortunate for Hundro. That's the, that's the way it's worked out. It's fortunate for Green is what it is. Oh, but Green has no access. Green has no access to shipping. And Snooper cannot be used. Because um, he can only pull off your debt. You can't recycle your debt for Snooper. <laughs> So <laughs> double annoying for Sneaker here. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. Little unlucky here. He's going to just go Mentat and redraw his hand and, uh, you know, just kind of reassess a bit here. Not not an ideal spot for him. Not much he can do about it. There's his ring. Now we'll use Snooper to, to draw, which I imagine will be like an experiment. Oh, he finds the set of Conspiracy. Nothing to graft with any, for any random bumps, though. He's not going to trash it. Andre has his ring to get to shipping, and that's it. Obviously, he would rather use that for mining. There's nothing he can do about it. Hundred's just got to just, just take the double bump of shipping and just work it out from there. You got that, Diplo, and then like a uh, Steel Suits or something. Wow, I cancelled it. Hundro, what is... Wow, this is bizarre. Yuna's going to get to shipping somehow. I do not know how this has happened, but it has. It seems... High Council? Is that just an anti-screw beast move? I don't know. But he's got Infiltrate for Swordmaster, so he didn't have to worry about it. That was a curious High Council. Why do that move there? Like, no one else could get there. Like, hmm... He just missed that shipping was hadn't been taken yet? And Lido can't get there now. Lido wondering why didn't he just use his, um, his liaison to, to go there. And to be honest, I'm wondering why he didn't just use his liaison Imperium's, uh, to, to go there. So ceremony is going to be played here to like wealth, I guess, or something. There he goes, Dreadnoughting! Wow. I mean, I would look at your... Uh, he, so this will allow him to take the top two Intrigue cards from the deck and put one back on top, which is relevant. I should definitely look at those before you do anything else. Wow. Dreadnoughts. Well, it's Ambush or Tactician. Do you want four swords or do you want one less with a chance of retreating some dudes? He opts for all the swords. He'll know that someone's going to get Ambush. Yuna cannot believe she's got access to shipping here. This is completely absurd. Is he eyeing up hollow projectors? No, he's going train drones. Okay, so Lino's going going to war here. It is a declaration. Shuttlefleet turns up on the row, which could be of interest. Here is the bizarre... I do not know how he's found his way shipping. But it happened. Hundro's going to go steal suits. I guess he did that to trash the dagger, but like, I mean, you had a dagger in there you could have trashed. If it was that desperate. 
Beast with not much else going on here. Hollow projectors? I don't hate it. He's got no way of getting the great flat, though. There's nothing he can do. He sacked off great flat to get his sword master. Gonna go siege here. Is he just gonna put them in? Looks like he's going to. This feels kind of a bit of a bit of a sigh. Put them in. Lido's just gonna put the hammer down at Carfax, surely. And he's just gonna whack this all in. Gets the tactician which he put down. So, I mean. He's, the combat is his, and he knows that the combat is his. The question is, how much do you commit? Three units? Mm, I don't know. I think I'd be wanting to put in probably one more. You want to save the intrigues, preferably. Yeah, I think I think that looks a little bit better. People might still have a piece at you. Who knows? Yuna's got a couple of actions. It's just going to select to breed. Trying to get hold of, like, long reach. Wants long reach of Intel of Conspiracy. And looks like they're going to get it. Hundro will go great flat. Beneficiary of this. Now, next question is, does he put more dudes in? He is going to put more dudes in here. So, uh, Lido's going to have to pay for this victory. Kind of a break, uh, a bit of a breakthrough this for, for Sneaker, no doubt. How this has worked out, but hey-ho. So, Beast is going to, I assume, bump up for the trash and does. I don't know if I buy anything more for him. So, Lido's going to have to use uh, a tactician once Hundra uses his tactician. There's nothing else to be done here. He's got four to buy. The sound would be nice if he had another Bene Gesserit, but he doesn't. And again, this is the problem. Everyone's got no one's got atomics now, so Sneaker can target this very effectively. Um, he will be after long reach, I imagine. He's got an extra action. Uh, I guess he's just gonna go just tech negotiation. Yeah. Looks reasonable to me. Not much else to do. He has nine persuasion. Is Yuna just gonna buy spice? I don't know. I don't feel like he's going to. I feel like he's going to buy off the row. But I'm not sure. Four for Hundro. After the kind of a bit of surprising high council. He's eyeing up uh, Lissand here. But I don't think he'll take it. It's an awkward row. It's all kind of a bit pricey. But they're all solid cards. A little bit weird, this. So, Lasan, it is. Gets a bonus spice. Negotiate withdrawal turns up here. So, that might influence Yuna going, like, maybe, like, uh, keys to power negotiated or something. So, the spice was flowing. Depends how he sees it. Nah, just opts for the point. Hmm. He's thinking about it, but, I mean, I think Eva's fine. So red will pass. Yellow will tactician. Now does red tactician for the fight or does he retreat? No, he's going to take the swords. And Lido will respond in kind. So nothing achieved. Red will take the conflict. A couple more intrigues for him. Gets a bump somewhere. Curious to see where red's going to start taking these bumps. Wow. Finds corner of the market. Hello. Double Cross also found this is pretty good for him. Uh, Talaxu Puppet for yellow. Well, he's felt he's got the High Council seat. I don't think he's ever going to get the research done, though. And Bypass Protocol found for the Beast here. And this is a great row for Beast to find, uh, Bypass Protocol. Lots of good five and four costers. And he's got the spice for it, so we can definitely top deck some stuff onto his, uh, onto his hand here. Opt to take the Emperor bump, so not yet committing to an alliance is red. And we'll move on. Round five. 
So red is going to have, like, uh, firepower all rounds here, pretty much. Blocked up Imperial Basin, which happened to be the next conflict, so it gets a bonus troop. So red gets a little lucky there, but he'll take it. Yuna, very eager to get Instellar shipping. And the crazy thing is, she is going to get to Instellar shipping because Lilo has not drawn access. Man. Can't teach it, kids. You cannot, cannot teach it. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And Yuna knows that she's, she's getting there as well. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, and she's getting Shuttle Fleet as well, because she's got Negotiator. That is absolutely absurd. Um, so Imperial Base is the next conflict. And Lino has drawn really weird here. Both Diplos and Daggers. He's going to want to go to Mentat. I don't think he has... He doesn't have to Mentat right away. I think you got to start committing towards an alliance here, though. Problem is, is that you, if you take the Emperor bump, like, Yuna just, oh, he just goes mental immediately. Oh, wow. Feels kind of bad. There's the next card. So this is all looking pretty, pretty good here for, for Yuna. Shuttle Fleet will go. Bumps everywhere. We'll probably just jam the Emperor Alliance here. You would imagine, out of, out of some, out of some fear. Yep, pretty standard stuff. So has three bumps. Can bump twice on one faction. There's going to be at least one bump for the Emperor. I would think probably double bump Emperor here. Just to keep Lita away from it. Depends how greedy she's considering getting here. I don't know if going for Bene Gesserit and Emperor both would be a bit of an overstep here. One bump with each makes logical sense. Uh, just going to take the double bump with the Fremen. It has one additional bump. Which you'd think would be Emperor. Might be uh, Benny. I don't know. We'll see. Yuna's thinking, well, I've got uh, Talaxi Surgeon, which will do the work for me here. But Yuna's starting to get the lead here. So you're starting to paint the target on your back. And Lido Cannon will try and chase you down on Emperor if he if he thinks he's got a half a sniff. So he does take the Emperor Alliance. Hundro will bump up for his ring later. Pretty standard. He'll get an intrigue. <laughs> well, if there's ever a guy wanting to get to the end of the uh, research track, it is it is Hundro Moritani. And guess who's not getting to the end of the research track? Uh, Beast is up. He's got a load of water, of course. He might just go Steel Suits here. No, it's selective breed, so he's going to use all his resources up here. A little, little dangerous. A little dangerous here. This also means that uh, he can't use uh, Bypass to top deck a card at the moment. Finds his ring and Diplo, though, so he draws, like, basically the two best cards he could have found. It's pretty gross. Lilo has got experimentation now, and he's got to use it. Got to go to a mining spot here. I don't know which one you go to. I'd probably go Basin, because Hundro has no water. So you're kind of, like, just... He, he would want to go Basin if he can, I feel like, a lot of the time. Also, your Dreadnought's there, so you're getting the bonus spice for it. I mean, that's how I would probably look to proceed here. I think I'd just go Basin, pick up the Spice. Your research, by the way, is, um... Yeah, it's a problem. Put some in. Interesting. I have to tell him he's got to do it. It's mandatory. Yuna's going to probably want to use all, all her cards here, I would imagine. She's no intention to have a reveal. 
She wants to use experimentation, though. She's got to go hang a basin, and she's got to do it now. Unless you're going to pair it with Interstellar, which she's going to keep it open. So just going to go here. Yuna racing away with us. That's, uh, that's Surgeon for you. Finds a balance weaponry, which is playable. Might see another car fag trip here. We'll see. It's going to get the, um, going to bump up and it's going to have the Talaxu track already done. It's just completely ridiculous. Andro sieges it, but he can't. He doesn't have enough persuasion. He's the only person that can't go siege. Why siege? It's a curious move. He's trying to like war monopolize or something here? Oh no, I think he's trying he's thinking of he was thinking Siege and then Hardy Warriors. But he's not gonna be able to do that. He finds subject, which is still not doing anything for him. It is not active. That was the problem with um, getting subject here. It's like he just kind of clogs your deck for a while. So he's gonna bump down. He's gonna take Shoy the Fremen bump here and does. How many troops does he put in? Just just pumps it. Just pumps it. Well, he feels he's falling behind. He's got a lot of spice. He could threaten highliners and stuff here. Beast will go seat instead. Obviously, he wants the water. Uh, which gives him reason to get involved in this fight here. Yuno is not going to get involved. I don't, well, I don't know. Yuno might get involved here. Letting Beast just have a water, by the way, is also a little bit ridiculous. Back to Lido. Space travel and, and uh, D Diplo his cards. He's got double cross and ambush as well. He's got a couple of sword reveals. He's still got training drones, so he's got tons of firepower. If Lido wants to win this combat, he can. It's gauging how much. Just going to go secret some weight. Oh, he finds Gruesome Sacrifice, which is not a bad card for him, actually. He can definitely uh, take that hit, and he needs it desperately for his research. He's nowhere on it currently. So it is Carfag. <laughs> Urgent mission is found for Yuna, and the problem is she's got no more cards, so she can't actually double ship with it right now. It's kind of funny. So it will have to be advanced weaponry. Uh, this is all going in. This is all going in here. Not afraid of Hundro. Hundro now has a problem. He has no way to deploy more forces. Has Hundro got any legal moves? Not much. He's got eight persuasion. Do you just reveal with Puppet and take the Spice Must Flow and a couple of swords? You don't feel like you're going to win the fight, though, if you do. Tricky spot. No more cities to go to. No way to deploy. Major ships is no good for right now. Um, you could maybe go like spaceport. Spaceport with like dreadnought or something and try and pull more daggers. But you've already you've been trashing them. Tough spot here for yellow. I don't hate just revealing with puppet and taking two swords and taking the and taking the spice must flow and saying, well, green's it does green have anything, you know, and just saying you've got to have a card and I could still have a card. I don't hate yellow just doing that. We know obviously yellow's not going to win the fight, but is he eyeing up? Wow, he is eyeing up the. Uh... Going for this Fremen Alliance here. Interesting. Problem is, if you play it, what are you trashing? You're going to trash Subject? Feels bad, doesn't it? But, like, you're nowhere near it. It's, it's just not doing much for you. That's my problem here. I, I think I would... Wow, it just trashes Jamis itself. What? 
That is that is mad. Hardy Warriors is coming. This is now Beast Feels forced to defend this. He pumps it in. Man, alive. Beast just wants the water. I don't think he thinks he's going to win, but he figures, well, if I can get second place and get the water back, that'd be fine. That's all he's doing this for. Lido's still with an action, but he's got nowhere really to go. Double Cross is still sitting there. He's got no way to deploy. Do you just space travel here? I think I don't hate just going space travel. The fold space. False space card is good later. He put some pressure on yellow. It's something you could possibly chase. You don't want to use the dagger. Yeah, this seems just like a, you know, i got not got too much better to do sort of move here. There's the experimentation, which is fine. So, Yuna with nothing. Hundred is going to reveal for seven. You just go negotiated for the troop? Mm. You do need to get to the end of this Talaxu track. You probably will, but it's not guaranteed. Long Reach is just such an attractive looking card, but it's really hard for it. There's been almost no Bene Gesserit in this entire game. So opts for keys instead. I think it's just purely for the faction access. Beast reveals for four. He'll take Negotiated. Lino's going to reveal for three. A couple of swords. So what is Leo going to do here? Does Leo intend to ambush this? Or does he intend to gruesome sacrifice this fight? I honestly don't know. We're going to see here. Bypass is going to be played to get hold of dissecting. So they now know Beast um, has nothing behind. There's Leo's couple of swords. Leo was eyeing up taking troops for a second, but he's got to try and make a push for this uh, Bene Gesserit, for the Talaxi point here. So interesting to see. Leo also has double cross. Does he double cross blue here? Does he double cross yellow? Or green instead because of intrigues? Does he do nothing? Because he's intending to gruesome. I have no idea. It's a victory point, though. Oh, it's on a double cross. Well, Lido, Lido is going to ambush and see what happens. So plus four is going to be good. Yuna can't win. I don't think she tie breaks to force a tie here. Oh, she does! Wow! Okay, no. Um, so that's just going to take second here. And that's going to be all. That's pretty wild. So Lido will win it. Yuna. Yuna with second. We'll have to just set over a couple of water. Beast picks up the water back in the end. And 100 puts in four troops for nothing. Brutal. Brutal stuff. Okay, then. So it's a big combat win for Lido, though. He's got to run on Gruesome and double cross probably later on. Maybe, like, just limp in a troop. Double cross to Gruesome them. Something like that. I've definitely seen stuff like that before. I've done it with, like, retreating with negotiating. It's pretty cool. All right, then. Moving on here. Arakeen is the next conflict. So more map control. It's round six. Yuna's just going to go ahead and just uh, bump it with spiritual uh, for the shipping. Okay, so Hundro did pick up the sand. But has no Bene Gesserit really. Well, he's got keys to power. But obviously, he's not going to pull that right now. Hundro has decisions to make. There's a big moments in this game for him here. It's kind of getting away from him, you feel, this match. Problem for Yuna as well. It's kind of hard for Yuna to score more points here. She can get the uh, Emperor point for eight. But how is Yuna scoring more points? We'll see. Hundro. Wow, look at this. Hundro just, just charging this alliance here. Just, just getting the water together. I think maybe some research station. He's kind of putting pressure on BC. He's, feels he's going to have to go Hardy Warriors just to cement it. Yeah. Kind of forced to. He doesn't He doesn't hate it. 
but he will do. So Beast is going to be targeting this conflict here, surely, Arakeen. Looks like that's the plan. Lido's got Imperium Ceremony. He's got eight Persuasion. He has no money for High Council. He's got no money for anything. Really hard for Lido to get hold of uh, Spice Must Flow here. Which is a problem because he's got Corner. And he would love to. Does Lido go Hagger Basin with his ring threatening Highliner? I think that's what we're about to see here. And this might force Highliner out of Hundro prematurely if he does this. And that's exactly what we see here. Well, here we go. Hundra hates this. He's like, why you gotta do this to me here? Yuna's just gonna get to like uh double ship here. It's so dirty the amount of shipping that um Sneakers has found his way into in this one. It's pretty crazy. So he's going to use this to charge the Bene Gesserit Alliance and just hope to somehow uh, take it down. It's the only way he can continue the score points. He's kind of struggling outside of it. Threatening, he's in danger of stalling a little bit here. Hundro's got a high line now, right? He, he, he hates this position he's in. There's not a lot you can really do about it. Problem is if you high line, like, what do you even do with the troops? He wanted to go smuggling here. Experimentation is what he wanted to do. But it is not an option for him. Not immediately. Wow. That's wild. I mean, Lee is just going to be like, okay? Wow, Hunter does not defend his alliance. Research stations. I guess he feels he's got to try and stop Yuna here. Yuna is getting away at the game. But Lido is going to have no choice but to go spacing. He's not got anything else to do. Okay, I guess. So, Beast is just going to go mining at Basin. Not much else to do, really. And then I think he's going to look to go Fold Space uh, with Ix Guild. And get a Dreadnought ready for next round. Yeah, he's either not smuggling, but I don't really think it does a lot for you here. I think I'd rather just go get the Spice. Get the research done. Get your point. Yeah, it looks better to me. Well, if you're going to put them in, you got to put them in now. But again, the problem is you have no intrigues, and Lido's got action economy on you. So it's pretty, pretty brutal stuff. And he puts in one instead of two. That's kind of a weird move. I don't know why you would do that. I would even just put them both in or not bother and just say, you know, just concede here. Bit of a strange put in. I mean, Lido's just got to go highline, right? Like, how do you, how does he not go highliner here? He does not have enough for Spice Must Flow. There's no way he can get it. Unless he goes Spaceport. Problem is, he's going to have to get hold of two to get any value out of corner because Unit already bought a Spice Must Flow earlier. I mean, it's just... Oh, he did have High Council. I missed that. It's four for him, not five. Wow. 
I think Leo is not going to bother with this conflict. I cannot believe Hanjo Morotani is going to... Yuna picks up uh, illicit dealings, which is doing nothing. So her track is already full. So it's, uh, it's a total blank card. Finds cannon turrets, though. Oh, no. Finds cannon turrets. Can you believe it? That's a disaster for Lido. The problem is, we're now at a stage, is do the players feel they're just going to fight for second place and just let Sneaker have this? Is that where this is starting to go? We'll see. Hundred needs one more specimen to get hold of his Talaxi point. Beast is going to Carfag instead and feels like he's just got to defend it. Oh, he finds reinforcements. It's a massive, massive intrigue for him here. How much do you put in? You just, just got to put it in. You got to take these battle points. I think Beast will figure he'll just, he's going to try for second place and call it a day. I think Beast doesn't really care if Sneaker wins. Bit more of a different spot for Lido and Hundro, however. So Lido wants to just reveal for the spice. But the problem is, is he can't double, he can't gruesome. He does not have two troops in. If he'd have put his training drones in earlier, he could at least gruesomed and got that done. But he can't even do that. Leo's got himself into a, a, a real mess here. I mean, you, once you take high counter, you basically quit yourself down this path. But yeah, you should have just training drove the troop at the same time and so you could at least gruesome it. And now he's got himself in a, in a real pickle. The problem is he feels that he's got to go for this fight. And so he does. Which kind of makes the high council feel kind of silly. And now you've got to put in like all of them. The problem is you've no intrigues, so because you can't double cross, so he's just going to go one in front. I think. Pulls two intrigues, of course. So he finds Chome shares and dispensation. Dispensation is is valid. Chome shares he has no money for, but obviously it's a point, and he doesn't want to give that away. Oh, it's a bit awkward. This. It is a bit awkward now. And he opts to take dispensation for the immediate use and let Chum shares get uh, redecked here. Pretty wild. Leo is not in front here. So reinforce is going to be played, and then Leo is just going to gruesome. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, he's going to have to gruesome anyways, because he doesn't have the way of double crossing. Yuna is just going to go out of keen and just, just draw cards, I guess. Put in the Dreadnought, get some money. You know. Well, he's going to leave the Dreadnought out. I don't know why he wouldn't just put the Dread in. But whatever, because he's just trying to offload his garrison a little bit here. I mean, you're not winning this conflict. I mean, just... Kind of a weird one. I guess he's just trying to protect himself from getting double cross. He could just put the dread in. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. Anyways. Um, so, Hunter's going to reveal for five. I guess he just grabs replacement eyes or something. Not really much else to be done here. So, Beast has an awful spot here. Beast can reinforcements and chuck it all in. And the thing is, he is good if he does it. Oh, he's going to take the chance. He's going to hope that somehow he's good here. He loses to so much. And somehow he's good. Which is pretty outrageous. He loses to so many things, does, does uh, Beast. He's completely face up. 
Wow. And Red's like, I can't believe that. <laughs> and to be honest, nor can I. That's pretty gross. Uh, six to buy. He can't even, like, find any money. He can't buy appropriate and cash in for money to double cross. He can't... Um, there's no Carino jeans on the Talaxu row to get to pay for double cross. There's nothing he can do here. It is a sad, sad result for Haboot. The only thing that Haboot can do is gruesome sacrifice um, and hope he picks a Paladon Marder off the Intrigue draw. That's the only thing that saves him here. It's the only way he wins is Gruesome sacrifices and picks up um and picks up the draw. So blue is like, I can't believe that's worked here. He's about to take it, but there's there's still distance to go, man. No 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 red, you gotta you gotta bump it here. Not there. I mean, this should just work, right? But yeah, he doesn't need to draw it. Yeah, he's already topped. It's fine. We're all good. So he finds the Chom shares, which I forgot, of course, he put there himself. So so he knows he's not going to win it. So that's a big win for yeah, for Blue. Kind of brave to, to just chuck it in and hope you're good. And somehow it turned out that he was. That was pretty crazy. Um, and that means that Blue's going to feel pretty confident in finishing, trying to finish second here. Evo has fallen away. It's not happened for him this game. Red trying to chase. And now it's, it's, it's green basically to just mop up and finish this game here. And Economic Supremacy is going to do a pretty decent job of that, you would imagine. So here we go then. It's Highline for Red. For Yellow here. Just pump it in. Nothing to do. Might as well. Not worried about going shipping. Beast has a it's an okay hand. It's not it's not great. Still suits will have to be to start off with. Lido needs money. Lido is I assume Lido is just going to go instead of shipping and cash in for the money so he can pay for charm shares. Lido's got to try and find a way to get second place here. He's missing the Benny point and he's missing the money. So he's going to get the Benny point first, try and get the Spices Flow this way. And maybe there's worlds he can still get the money later on. So Red's just going to try and get the second place here. Blue's going to just try and hold on. And Blue doesn't care if Green wins this conflict. Doesn't care in the slightest. It's Blue's to win. Blue just looking for uh, just whatever points. Spice must flow. That's 10. He's got a dip load of wherever he wants. Probably hardy warriors and then we'll just, just shut up shop and call it a day. Unless someone makes a crazy chase of the Benny Alliance. Hundro ships. He's gonna drop. He's gonna go down to get hold of troop transports. Hundro's just gotta throw it in and hope he's good here for a couple of points. That's all we can really do. Yuna will try and pick up the second. Brutal result for Lido. Hundro Lido loses the spacing alliance, which is a terrible result for him. Hundro's gonna try and score three points here. By the way, he has access to mining. Beast is going to go secrets. Might as well. Oh, he finds a Benny Pump. Wow. Weird spot here for Beast here. If Beast could actually take um, a point from Yuna, would he actually want to if it kept the game going and he feels it might threaten his ability to score second place? Interesting spot. He'll keep hold of that and see kind of where that gets to him. Interesting. Lido, if uh, if you want charm shares, you're running out of ways to get there, buddy. You are running out of ways to get there. He's got two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten persuasion. 
I don't think he's going to... Ooh, that's a nice pull. Is he eyeing up, like, Great Flat Conspire for Charm Shares? I think so. Yuna's just going to reveal and take the point and call it a day. Feels my work here is done. Hundred with one action left. Hundred's got to go Great Flat, right? For Spice Tie Breaks? Two, four, six, seven... No! Tech negotiate into Laxu puppets of Spice Must Flow. And you just gotta hope that you're good. As it is, he currently is good. Just. But he doesn't know that. Experimentation, you can't play, really, as well. You can just reveal it as a Talaxi. But I think that's the what you gotta do here as Evo, is go for... Ah, uh, but if you tech... It's kind of weird. You tech negotiate, you give up one point for another... Um, Sonny Melange pays for your, your spice point, though. The way for 100 to score the most points is to go tech negotiate. Puppet for spice is four. His experimentation gets him to five, and then he wins three points of the combat. He can have a five-point turn and get up to eight points. But he's gonna put in more troops, which I don't hate. He's gonna sacrifice a point to try and finish at seven. The problem is he loses all tie breaks. Because he's going to spend all his spice. That's my problem here. And now Taxi Pump is not really doing anything. Beast is just going to take spice. Not much else to do. He's going to get an intrigue in a moment. So Lido with a choice. I think for Lido, it's... Um, you have to experiment to get hold of your Talaxi point. I think for me, it's just Great Flat Conspire. Get Charm Shares. Uh, it gives you Talaxi point for six. Gives you... Uh, the Charm Shares for seven. What? Am I missing something? Wow, Yuna just arrow keens it. She's like, well, I might as well. I mean, Yuna's won the game, so... This is a terrible result for Hundro. There's nothing Hundro can do now. Hundro is uh, pretty sad. Now what can he do? And now Hundro's like just giving points all over the joint. Yeah, nothing he can do here. So Yuna's gonna win the conflict as well, just for some uh, extra extra fun. Which means she's going to get a couple of points. Yuna's long since won. It's not really interesting anymore. We're interested to see who's going to finish uh, second between blue and red here. Wow, why did he, why on earth did Lido go smuggling? Surely the move's just great flat conspire. Grand Conspiracy found for blue. Can't score off of it, so it does nothing. He's going to gamble to see if he can find a, find uh, anything interesting here. Recruit mission does nothing. So nothing to do here for blue. But he's going to finish at eight. And Lido's not going to catch. Lido could have got to eight here, I think. But I think he's missed the trick. Nah. Seek is fine. He knows he's fine. He knows he's okay. You know, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. T yeah. I, uh, unless it's me and I'm missing something completely, which has happened before. Like, yeah, why does Leo not just go Great Flat Conspire? He still gets a Spice Must Flow. He gets to score Choam shares. And he still gets the Talaxu point. So he still gets the eight. Maybe he was conscious of spice, but he would have taken like five spice at Great Flat. Don't know, folks. I, I don't know why that move didn't happen. Because how is he can't? How's he going to score the, the charm shares now? There's no way he can get it. Wealth isn't enough. He can't reship. He can't get the bonus from spacing. Mm. 
Yeah, he's going to finish with a lot of spice, but he's going to be down a point for it, so... I think that was just a miss. The amount of times people don't think of conspire as your last move, though. It's it's a it's a it's a joke, a uh, joke, a little spot. Like you can do a lot of cool stuff with conspire in the last round, and a lot of people just don't think of it. So I think a boots missed a trick there, but never mind. So, so Yuna's gonna win the game. She will, Sneaker will win his opening game. I think he might feel he's been a little bit fortunate over the course of this. Like he's, you know, like finding his way to Shippy a couple of times he did was kind of absurd. Uh, one where Lita refused to go, didn't go there. And then Yellow didn't go there. And then Red couldn't go there. And then Red then again drew and couldn't go there. So I think he's been a little bit fortunate on that end. But he'll be happy how he's played. Maybe Red's missed the fact that he could have cornered um, this. Oh, man. Where's he going to corner? And, of course, yeah, takes out Yellow. Because, obviously, the game, it didn't matter. Um, Yuna already had the win anyway. So, it was it was irrelevant, this. So, the game is over. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, he had nothing anyway. So, it didn't, it didn't matter. So Yuna's going to win it. VP will hold on for second place, which I think he'll be fairly happy with to take the three points. A boot with second. Oh, how did he not find Conspire? I, I think if he goes great flat Conspire, like he, he gets second place there. Just missed it. And Hanjiro didn't go well for him, unfortunately, this game. What are you going to do? Yes. I don't know. I think I don't know if Sidene helped or didn't. So, I mean, nah. it's never a bad thing at Sidene. You know? The problem is, it's like you, you had a lot of water come up on conflicts, which helped a lot. Uh, so you're able to yeah. fund it and still get some bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. I think you were also pretty fortunate to get second place in the end. Um, I think, I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but like if Red just goes Great Flat Conspire <laughs> instead. Like, you just score an extra point, right? Because then he, pay he gets charm shares. And he beats you on Spice, I think. Oh, yeah. But, uh... I think that was that. Which which is the thing. A lot of people miss Conspire at the end. Um, but, yeah, it was it was a, it was a lot of weird mid-game stuff. Um, as well, like, you know, Sneaker found his way to shipping, like, twice. <laughs> Uh, that went, went around like twice and you know red didn't go there then yellow didn't and red couldn't go there and you get there and then red didn't draw it just kind of weird i don't have i don't have conspire access well well no so so you went obviously you went smuggling great flat i mean you could have just why not just go great flat conspire oh well, yeah i don't think he had because he played um yeah. he's there in the beginning no Oh no, that that's the yeah you're no, right. No, he never yeah, he never played it. Okay. Yeah, that's a reveal. He never yeah, played it. Right. He he fold space there. So I was just yeah, thinking, yeah. yeah, just great flat can spy you cash home shares. It's just a... <coughs> but uh... yeah, I was all over the place. Yeah, yeah it was. I it was, hated this game. It was. I mean, it was a pretty wild game. Yeah, yeah, you got stuck in some really awkward spots a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I I played like crap. I mean, I haven't played like in two months. It's not like yeah, <laughs> it, doesn't it was. Help. Just, it was actually terrible, but yeah, and the sneaker was like so far ahead that I said like, okay, let's try it. And I tried to switch to corner the market and I couldn't do it. Then I switched to stealing the lions. I, I couldn't keep it. I mean, I, I could have, I could have gone uh, false space first and secured the alliance, but I think I lost every possible point. Yeah. Even the, the point against blue uh, in the combat for, cause uh, I didn't draw any, uh, I I think I lost by by one sword. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Fine, it's fine. I think yeah, it was kind of crappy. Yeah, but, the the, yeah. the the mid game. I think it was the Arakeen fight or whatever it was was obviously pretty wild as well. Um, it was it's just because like, you went you obviously armed up early artillery train drugs, which I liked. I, I like the idea of like getting in heavy. Um, but then yeah. like the, yeah, the the reinforcements from Blue was pretty gutsy because he had nothing behind. It, like he loses mm -hmm. to yeah. so many things, and you just didn't have any of them. You no money for double cross either, which would have you know you just just didn't have it. No, yeah, but I think it's it's all. I mean, I was 
close to everything, but I didn't get anything. I, I mean, that that's just poor management. So mm. yeah, probably. I, I mean, this was not a this was a game to to play perfectly, and I was so far away from it. So yeah, nothing to do here. I suppose so, but yeah, it was it was a uh, you know, it was a pretty well it was good to watch. There was definitely a lot of interesting things happened, no doubt about that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's obviously a long way to go. There's there's a lot of, there's a lot of games to be played still. <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Ooh. Goodness me. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, guys, uh, GG, well played. Hey, GG, have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. So that's going to be all for this match here then. Um, yeah, I think Sneaker will call it fairly routine enough. Um, you know, I think it was a case of other players maybe missed bits and pieces here and there or maybe didn't get quite what they were looking for and Sneaker was was able to, to take advantage of that as and when it came up, which is what you've got to do in a game like this. You know, it's about kind of, you know, taking those opportunities as they arise and making the most of those. Um, I think Obut also, I think, pretty fair there. Um, Realised it wasn't the best game he's ever played, um, you know, which is reasonable. Like, the route was there to at least secure second place um, and just, just, just missed it at the end, which is what it is. Um, what are you going to do? But I think maybe it was a little bit unlucky as well. Yeah, the Reinforcers of Blue was pretty... That was a pretty crushing battle defeat there. Uh, if that swings him away, maybe it's a little bit of a different story and he probably gets second place. But we'll have to live with the two points instead. All right, everyone, that's going to be all for this. So thank you very much for watching as per always. Obviously got loads and loads of games still to come <laughs> from this uh, this tournament. We've got nearly 200 games we played from the group stage and we're getting uh, much more content up now that everyone has returned from North Carolina. And now that I'm reasonably over my illness, uh, we're getting more content for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the game. Curious to your thoughts. Sneaker wins again. Some things never change. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time.